Hello, hello. I'm going to see if I can... Nope, I can't invite anyone because there's like no one on my radar today. I don't know what the deal is with this account. I can't like invite anybody at all. So as you're hopping in, um, let me know that you're here. I'm going to try really hard to um, wrap this up as fast as possible. But if you're watching on the replay, it's important that you watch this. If you're tuning in, it's important that you watch this. Um, I need to share something that's really been bugging me. And I really wanted to just get it out there. I wanted to talk to you about this. And after a conversation I had with Jordan last night, um, and it wasn't because of you, Jordan, but after having that conversation with her, I was like, you know, I wanted to get on live last night. I would have gone live like at 1030 last night <laughs> at Central Standard Time because I was like fired up, ready to go. And so this morning I was like, you know what, let me just sleep on it. Let me think about this. And I was like, no, you know what? I need to talk about this. I need to come on here and do this live. So if you're hopping in, let me know that you're here at least. Say hello. And if you would, so kindly hit the invite button. You don't need to invite Jesse or Jeannie or Nicole or um, Veronica or um, the Barons or um, Camille or any of them. But invite people that you know that are in the team, please, so that they know that I'm live since this is a different account. It's probably not giving you the notification that I am live. Hello. Okay. I am totally going to screw up your name. It's a very pretty name, but how do you say it? Lu, Lu, Lucret, Lucrete. I can't be <laughs> Mrs. Franklin. <laughs> hey, Adrian, how are you? See, I could say Adrian. Um, I, I, I've tried. I cannot figure out how to actually pronounce your name. <laughs> you have to like voice message me so I know how to say it. Cause I don't want to botch that. It's a very pretty name though. Um, Lu, Lucretia, 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 a voice message. Me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop playing with the names. Listen, y'all, I wanted to come to you because I'm super passionate right now. Hey, Christine. Um, and I, I really want to talk to you about something that's been heavy on my heart, burning your boat. And when I get into this conversation, I might get a little animated. I'm going to try very hard not to use some colorful language because I hear it in the video. If you've ever watched Tony Robbins, he has some colorful language. I'll try to avoid that um, as much as possible. But there's that little part about burn your boat. But I want to go a little deeper before I talk to you about burning your boat, which basically burning your boat means going all in. Okay. Um, and that's not necessarily what I'm saying here. So I want to preface before I say anything else. If you come into this business, if you chose Red Aspen because it actually complemented something you're already doing, that's fantastic. Okay, that's awesome. And if all you're wanting to do is just complement what you're already doing, if all you're wanting to do is just offer your clients just a little bit more by offering lashes and plug it in my phone, if you're just wanting to come in here and just do this on a, a little bit part-time basis, that's totally cool. And I am not speaking to those that are trying to come on. Uh, this section of this video is not about uh, people who come on and who are just wanting to complement what they're already doing, who just want to add to their their um, their inventory or their, their portfolio to offer to their clients, okay? So when I'm talking about burn the boat and I get into that, I am talking about those who really want to succeed, those who really want to go somewhere, okay? so. When I transition to that and get all animated, those that are part-timers, those that are here just to complement um, their their current products, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about those who really want to make a change, those who really want to create freedom in their life, those who really want to find true success. And if you want to find true success, then I definitely would hang around and listen to this. But let me tell you something. I have... Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story and start there because I think it's important and I've said it, I've done a video before, but I want to just share a very quick roundup about my, my success and failures. How many of y'all have failed? Has anybody ever failed before? I would love for you to drop the word fail both down below if you've ever failed. 
you know, I have tried other companies, I've done other things. I wasn't as successful as I would like to say I was. I always say like, you don't fail unless you quit and stuff like that. And as long as you keep going, you're not really, you're not a failure, but you can still have fails, okay? So you can fail at something and pick yourself up and keep going. That's not saying that you're a failure. So I've had many fails in my life and I've had many fails in businesses. And I've, I have um, been stagnant in companies. Has anybody ever been stagnant in a business they're in? And they just aren't going anywhere. And you just aren't satisfied. It's just not enough. There's something missing. And when there's something missing, you start looking for better. When there's something missing, you start looking for more. Um, yes. You know what, Christine? I absolutely believe that. And that's why I did that in quotes. Because you do learn something. You do fail, but it's a fail forward. This is the way I like to say it. You fail forward. You learn something. You're not ever considered a failure. Okay. So as long as you're learning, it's those little hiccups along the way. It's those stumbling blocks. Let's say that your stumbling blocks. So I've stumbled quite a bit along the way to learn what works, what doesn't work, how I need to operate, how I don't need to operate, how I need to talk to people, how I don't, you know, all these things you learn, you learn, you learn, and you grow. That's part of us being human, right? We continue to grow. We continue to learn. So I love the fact that we fell forward. Um, hello, Andre. How are you? Hey, Tracy. How are you? Um, yeah, you, you know what? I take it as a learning experience every stumbling block. Okay. So in my journey, I wasn't successful in, in one company and, and I wasn't in another. And so then I got into this one company that I was super successful in, like super successful to like, for a while there, money was growing on trees kind of success. Like it was really good. I was having a blast. And then I hit a wall and I hit that wall. And the reason I didn't want to jump, the reason I didn't want to leave, the reason I didn't want to be that hopper, the reason I didn't want to walk away was because I had this title and I was seen as somebody successful, even though my business was drowning. And, and I didn't want people to think anything um, bad of that. And I didn't want my team. I don't want to leave my team. I had a team of thousands like I didn't want to leave and it was it was a really hard decision when I did walk away but when I walked away I didn't walk away okay I dipped my toes in another company and did this like prancing back and forth and I was even like I, I was on social media so I was like posting certain things that only these people could see and posting things that only these people could see and posting that <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to balance these out and I'm trying to ride two horses essentially with one saddle it doesn't work. So I was trying to kind of play both both sides there until I could ride off into the sunset with, with the new company. And you know, it's a struggle that a lot of us have. And when I went into the next company and I finally let go of the other horse, um, I started to flourish because it held me back. It held me back from ranking up. It held me back from being successful. It held me back from learning. It held me back from growing. It held me back. And I didn't realize that until now. I didn't realize that until recently in the last few months when I started really evaluating what's happened in my life and where I am today. So when I rode off into the sunset, so to speak, with the new company, um, I thought it was all fine and dandy. Everything's peaches and cream. And again, I hit a wall. And this wall was very different and I could not climb over this one. And it kept, I just kept hitting me and hitting. I mean, I could not get past it. And again, you don't want to jump. You don't want to be that hopper. You don't want to be riding two horses, but you don't know what to do. And so I really was looking for something that was going to satisfy me, that was going to be the perfect fit for me. And for those of you that don't know me, um, I was absolutely born to be in the position that I am right now. This is what my entire life led up to. And those who do know me know that to be true. I was on the phone with uh, one of you beautiful unicorns the other night and she said, you were, you were totally born for this. And I said, I know, I know. And sometimes I forget that and sometimes I have to be like, wait, get this in check. You were born for this. You were given these talents. You were given these resources and this is what you're meant to do. This is what you're meant to be in life. And so... When I came here, I knew that this is where home was. And so when I get into Burn the Boat, and I'm going to get a little aggressive here, um, understand that it's from a loving place because I've been there. I've done that. And it's not always the best thing to try to ride two horses with one saddle. Why in the world 
am I coming to you and telling you this? Why in the world do I want to bring this up right now? Well, tonight we're going to have some big announcements. If you're not watching, you need to watch um, Jesse's live. I think I invited everybody. You need to um, watch those updates and see what that's all about because you're going to get some big announcements tonight. But here's the deal. I knew about something that was rolling out way before it happened. And when it did, everybody was excited. So then I knew about something else before it happened. And when it happened, everybody was excited. So when I tell you, hey, there's something coming. Hey, this is insane. Hey, this is going to get better. You need to freaking trust me because I know. I know. When you get a phone call in the morning from the CEO asking you your, your opinion on something that they're going to roll out that night, you should be trusting me. So here's the thing. If you did not see, I keep looking down at the beautiful comp plan, the comp plan, okay? When we first started, this comp plan was nothing like it is right now. Now we get a first time bonus. If you hit brand leader, senior brand leaders, brand manager, senior brand manager, you get a bonus the first time you hit that rank. Now, once you hit brand, um, once you hit director, you have to maintain it. But it originally was everybody had to maintain it once to get it. And they said, let's throw that out. Everybody gets the first time bonus. That was the first change. The next change was the percentages or the amounts for what you needed in personal volume. And that rolled out January 1st. Remember that? Another thing that rolled out was we could only have 120 in personal sales and then you had to send an inventory form in. Anybody still with us with, or was with us when we had to do the inventory thing? You had to send it and I'm, we're only at 12 weeks old and we've already had like thrown something out. We had an inventory form and they were telling us we had to send in receipts and they were trying to and it was the stipulations were, and things have been lifted and things are changing and things are getting better. I know of several other changes that are going to happen to this comp plan. Will you listen to me? Will you take advantage of this opportunity and run with it? Okay? That's, that's what I really want to get through to you. This is insane. What's coming is insane. What I know to be true as to what's going to happen in this next year is going to be flipping insane. You go on this leadership trip with us. It's going to be insane. <laughs> You, this entire time is going to be crazy madness, crazy fun, crazy successful if you burn your boat. So what do I mean? What the heck do you mean by that, Jen? Because I'm not going all in. Like I'm over here at this other business and they pay my bills and I'm not ready to, I'm not ready to walk away. Okay, that's fine. How committed are you to this business? How committed are you to working this? Are you giving just a little bit? Are you complaining? Are you, are you actually all in? Are you not giving it your all? Like what, what is your commitment level? That's the first thing. You got to be true to yourself. What is your commitment level? The next thing is, are you committed to being successful or are you going to sit back and complain? I'd like to know, are you committed or do you want to complain? So comment below, commit or complain, whichever one you are. Even if you're watching the replay, participate, please. The difference in a top leader, the difference in someone who is super successful, the difference in someone who brings in the dough and everyone else is really one thing. And it is, they go all in. They see progress because they go all in. They see success because they go all in. They actually see that progress happening, the things happening and things excelling where it's complex because they put they participate you don't have to do this full time to be super successful but you're gonna have to do it full time if you want to be at the top okay because you're super successful could mean a million things okay so you're super successful could be a hundred dollars a week well you could do that part time if you want a million dollars a week you're gonna have to go all in can i get an amen on that i mean seriously ladies so the truth is a very small percentage do the go all in. Very small percentage actually believe they could do, make $5,000 a month, make $20,000 a month, make a million dollars a month. Not very many women, unfortunately, believe they have it in them to do it. I'm gonna tell you, you got it in you. You have it in you. But a very small percentage believe it and run with it. So, most people use every excuse in the book. Their upline, 
something about the kit, something about the products, something about um, their time, something about, um, let's see, what are some other, get, drop me an excuse that you've heard as to why someone's not successful. And you know, I did um, why people are not successful in network marketing on my timeline and I gave you some lists, but I'm just curious, like those excuses, even if it's an excuse you give yourself, even if it's an excuse you've given to the team, like, or to your upline, or maybe not this in company, but another one. What are some excuses that you've heard before? Because I've heard, oh, well, the, the kit didn't have this or that. Or, you know, it was just, this was too messed up. Or this product, this. Or or we only have this. Or, like, right, right now you could say, oh, well, I wanted the holiday kit. And the reason I'm not successful is because I had to get this pink kit, not the holiday kit. Or the other way around, I had to get the pink kit. And I didn't get, and I wanted the, and I, um... I got the holiday kit and I wanted the pink kit. Or it could be, well, you know, I've, I've talked to everybody I know. Or it could be, um, I love that one. I'm too old. <laughs> That's so true. Or it could be, um, I just had one. Oh, all we sell are lashes. All you sell are lashes. Are you freaking kidding me? I said this the other night. Yes, people. All we're going to have are seven pairs of lashes for all of eternity. Seriously, people? What I know is happening. You need to believe me because I know what's about to come. We're not gonna have seven lashes for the rest of our life, so that's an excuse. Oh, well, you know, the glue tube's out, now we got the samples, I don't really care for the sample glue. Excuses, excuses, excuses. A million different excuses. Yeah, that one's funny, 126 ambassadors in Texas. Okay, <laughs> nice excuse there. So. There are all excuses. Here it is. If you want to earmuffs, because I'm going to say a bad word, but all of that is total bullshit. Total bullshit. Absolutely. And the reason I say that is because you're lying to yourself. You're giving yourself excuses. You're giving yourself an out if you give excuses. Because you can do this just as well as anybody else. You can be successful just as well as anybody else. You have everything in your hands. You know, um, I would love for you to go look this up when we are done. Don't go now. Stay tuned. But I want you to go look up Tony Robbins and go look up um, Ultimate Resources. In that video, he talks about how your ultimate resources have nothing to do with so what somebody else is providing you. You need to go watch it. It's a fantastic video. Um, and someone had said, burn your boat a couple years ago to me, and it, the Tony Robbins thing came up, and it kept coming up. And I've watched his video over and over again. I was watching it right before I hopped on here. And even uh, my daughter came in and was like, you, you don't let me listen to stuff like that, because he uses some pretty colorful language. But it is so true. It is so true what he talks about with the ultimate resources and burning your boat. So anyone can get to the top. The truth is, are you willing to get to the top? Are you willing to do what it takes? And a lot of people are not willing. They're not willing. If you're willing, I'd love to see who is willing watching this video and tell me I'm willing. Are you really willing? Are you really? The part of the video that I love the most is when he talks about burning the boat. And he says, if you want to take the island, you burn the effing boats. What does he mean by that? And he says, he goes on and he says that... Um, let me see, I wrote it down. Hold on. Because I didn't want to mess that up. Because when he, sa he says, there's no way back. If you do or die, if you go all in and you're afraid and you, and you don't back down and you've burned all the boats, there is no escape, right? It's a do or die situation. Most people, when they're backed into a corner, when it's either die or succeed, they succeed. It's, it's true. They succeed. So if you're afraid and you feel like, you don't know what you're doing. You cannot give up. You've got to keep going. There is no failing. If you have the mentality of there is no failing. Like I said in the beginning, to me, failure, failing is when you quit. If you keep going, you never quit. You never fail. You have little fails or little stumbling blocks, but you never fail. Ultimately fail. Okay? So let me tell you something. When you hit rock bottom, that could be a blessing in disguise. And in the last company I was with, I hit rock bottom. And so I am a testament to this. When you hit rock bottom, your darkest place, the time that I was in that other company, that was the darkest place even in my personal life. Even in things that I could not control. Even, not even just personally, but like people in my family. That was the darkest time was during that time. And I hit rock bottom. 
And when you hit rock bottom, there's only one way and it's up. And you're much more grateful for what you are given. And you know what? When you're in rock bottom, it's a sink or swim. And that's when the winners come out. That's when the winners are formed. They're made there. Success sprouts from the deep, dark pits. For real. If you want to succeed, you've got to go all in. I don't want to cry. <laughs> when you hit rock bottom, it can be a blessing. Because you only get to grow from there. You only get to gain from there and be grateful about it. So if you are not jumping into your business and saying, you know what, I'm all in, then you're not going to be as successful as you'd like. Again, I will preface for those that are sensitive that I'm not talking about those who are adding or complimenting to their products. If you're doing that, that's awesome. And I'm not talking to you. You guys keep rocking it. Go sell your lashes. Go do your beauty like rock it. But if you came here and you want to see something magical happen, let's talk about that. We're 12 weeks old. We broke even in six weeks. We're debt free. We're debt free. They've paid thousands, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in their first month out to people. They're growing rapidly. We had a thousand people in less than six weeks. There are companies out there that have been open for over a year and they still don't have their 1,000th representative. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Our team alone, alone in six weeks, in a six week period, we had a little over 4,500 in volume in six weeks. Six weeks, our first six weeks, 4,500, which is phenomenal. In first week of this month, we were at 5,300, something like that, over 5,000. First week, six weeks to one week. We are growing. People are noticing us. People know about the lashes. People are sending lashes out for people to review, so then people are reaching out to their friends who know that they're doing it. This is the time right now to take this and run with it if you want to run with it. Because this is how you're going to get to the top, is if you go all in. And I'm telling you, and I'll tell you again and again and again, if you listen to me, you're going to be successful. When I tell you you need to be excited about things and that things are about to happen, you need to be ready that things are about to happen. You know, I talked to a girl who considered joining us in the very beginning. And she came to me within the first week that I was in and she had a million questions. She was a red personality and she also had her green. And so she was researching everything and she had a lot of questions and I'm talking to her about things and the comp plan came up and she was picking the comp plan apart. And I kept telling her throughout the conversation, yeah, but we're still in soft launch and technically we're in soft launch for a year. Most companies are. So she, so I would tell her, yes, we're, but we're in soft launch and, you know, they may make some changes. I'm sure they'll make some changes. You know, Jesse told me that they were probably going to make some changes. And I kept telling her this, but she never really grasped it. And she kept saying, well, with this other company, blah, blah, blah. And well, with this other company, blah, blah, blah. And, da, 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 da. and I'm like, okay, that's cool. She's come back to me multiple times and said, so how's everything going? It's going fantastic. But she still hasn't jumped. By the time she jumps, she has missed out on all of this time. And you know what? There have been multiple changes to the comp plan. And since speaking to her, I figured out some tricks that are on the comp plan, like the generation bonuses that I didn't quite wrap my brain around. And now I understand them and I'm like, ah. So there's this company and they have like purple as their color and they have an actual break. Okay. A lot of companies do, but let's just talk about the purple company that has um, this break off. So when you get to a certain level, you can't, um, you can't get paid off of someone who ranks up to a certain level. Like they, they, there's a breakaway and the person leaves and now you don't get paid on them. So now you're rooting for them to fail because if they succeed, you're not succeeding. How crazy is that? And a lot of companies have that. So Purple Company has this. We don't. We don't. I had another company that, um, we'll just call them the Red Company. So the Red Company, they absolutely um, love going on and on about how they get paid so many levels deep and we only get paid three and blah, blah, blah. Have you seen the generation? Have you seen what happens? Do you see what's about to go down with that? 
Do you see that it's possible we may get paid on more levels eventually? So do you want to go with Red Company just because that's what their comp plan is now? Or how about, oh, well, we don't have cash fast starts yet. We have a dashing start, but we don't have cash fast starts. You don't think that's in the works? So, well, you don't have an auto bonus or car bonus. We're 12 weeks old. 12 weeks old. You don't think that's going to come? You don't think that a convention's going to come? You don't think that things are going to happen? You don't think that we're going to have incentives? That something that they're going to announce tonight is going to be freaking phenomenal? Are you not paying attention to what I'm putting down? Because now is the time. Now is the time to go all in. I would totally tell you that you need to make a decision. Right now, you need to make a decision. Are you going to burn your boat and get rid of your effing excuses and move forward and grow and take that island? Or are you going to sit back and let everybody else pass you by? Because now's the time. Burn the boat. Whether you're burning the boat and you're getting rid of another company because you can't sit there and try to ride two horses, your legs are kind of going out and you can't, you can't hold on and you don't know how to handle both two horses and you've got to let go of one and hold on to the other for dear life. If that's what you're having to do, we're here to support you. And we're here to help you make sure that you ride off into a beautiful sunset. But if you're wanting to hold on to two horses, by, by golly, do it. If you want to be successful here, burn your boat today. Make a commitment. I want you all in. And those who are all in, you're going to see a huge, huge change. So who's all in? Bye, guys.